everyone, welcome to the episode 2 of Bridge TV. Today, we are talking about how to get a job as a nurse here in Australia. Hello everyone, I'm Johanna Nonato from Bridge Migration Consultancy. Welcome to the episode 2 of Bridge TV. Today, we will be talking about the job opportunities for a registered nurse who just recently graduated the IRON program or what we call the Nurse Bridging Program. Today I have AJ Hi. here with me. So this is AJ Mendoza. He's from Baguio City, Philippines. Uh, in this discussion, I'll just ask questions about, you know, how did you go about the opportunities here? What are the opportunities here for a registered nurse and the application process? And maybe some tips at the end. Yep. All right, so AJ, as I mentioned, you've just finished your IRON program. Yep. Um, with that program, do you think it really helped you to be exposed in the healthcare industry in the Philippines? Yep, actually, thank you for that question, Ma'am Johanna. Actually, for you to be a registered nurse here in Australia, it's, it, having the bridging program is really a great thing because you get to be familiarized with Australian culture. Also, um, Australia is a very uh, multicultural community, so getting to know each people and each individual with different backgrounds, that would really make you a better person who's able to deal with a lot of people. Moreover, the healthcare industry in Australia is far more advanced compared back to my to country. The Philippines, yeah. So learning how to operate certain equipment and certain um, machineries, the protocols also in the health settings very much different. So I guess um, learn, undergoing the bridging program or the iron course is really beneficial. Okay, so um, all right, it's for moths far more advanced than the Philippines. Yep. So does that mean in Australia our equipment are better? Have you seen equipment here that's not in the Philippines? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, I've seen a lot of equipments that are not usually uh, that are not usually seen in the Philippines, like the lifting machine, the hoist machines. Okay. Yeah. These are the machines that would really help nurses to uh, not strain their backs. Okay. So here in Australia it's, there are a lot of machines who really propagate the safety of nurses. Yeah, so that's, we're big on safety, yeah. Yeah, not just for the patients, yeah. but also for the nurses. Yes. Okay, so those are the equipments. You mentioned about protocols. Yeah. So does that mean um, in Australia the protocols are easier, simpler, or is it more complicated than the Philippines? Just, you know, an overview of a comparison. Yeah, I guess one of the most beautiful things that I've found here in Australia is like everything here is transparent. There's no boss, um, boss and um, um, boss employee setting. Like everyone's free to share their concerns. If I have a problem with my work setting, I can just brought that up to my nurse manager and it would be pacified and facilitated immediately. So I guess uh, the protocols, your concern as an individual could be delivered instantaneously, then they can like provide some, um, they can study on how they can, how they can work that out. So I guess that's nice because everyone's concerns are being addressed. Okay, so I guess um, AJ here is talking about power distance. Yeah. So in terms of the Filipino culture, there's always the boss. Yeah. We can speak in Tagalog, by the way. <laughs> so, diba, maamo kita eh, so I have to follow you. It's always, um, I'm a nurse, I'll wait for the doctor's instruction. I yeah. cannot decide on anything. It's different here. So power distance is very short, right. meaning we're all equals. Yep. And I've heard in one hospital, they don't even have uniforms for nurses. Yeah. <laughs> because they're like, we're all equals, cool. why do you have uniforms? Yes. <laughs> so I guess it's good that you say that it's, you know, better. Yep. But I guess in some of our, with our kababayans, with our fellow yeah. Filipinos who've been nurses for many years, it's a fact that they cannot accept sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that, you know, um, if you're taking up nurse bridging program, the very difficult subject is communication. Because yep. as nurses, you're not really used to deciding on your own. No. Yep. And now you have to decide. You even have to tell the doctor Urge. that, hey, this is what you need to do. Yep. Which is so different from the Philippines. Yes. Um, actually, here in Australia, it is quite an expectation for you to speak in behalf of your patients. Because the patients here are the one who's really shy. And the nurse 
nurses here should be the one to speak in behalf of them. So that's okay, really so nice. Are the patients are shy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. they're a little bit shy, or they tend to be. Uh, they're more closer to the nurses. They say a lot of ah, things yes, to nurses. Yes, yes. Yeah, they're more transparent to them. Okay. <laughs> so um, thank you for that. Yeah. Now, let's talk about you finished. What have you seen in terms of the job opportunities here? Are there really lots of jobs? Um, what kind of jobs are there? Actually, if you really look into it, the application setup in the Philippines and Australia is far, far different. Because in, in back in my country, you have to go to each and every hospital just to submit an application. Here, just have to register online, look for the different public and private hospitals. You just have to list them down and just do it um, online. Yeah. And once you, once you, and even if you just search for just a registered nurse in Australia, there are a lot of links oh, okay. wherein you can apply. And nursing, I do believe that nursing here, so here in Australia is like, there's a high demand for it. Okay, so I guess what you're saying is that because we do have groups yeah. of hospitals, yep. and when you say, okay, mago online lang ako, oh. when in one application, you might be hitting 10, yes. 20 hospitals. Exactly, yes. Unlike in the Philippines, okay, there's 10 hospitals, uh -huh. you apply in each one. Yeah. Ayun ba yung sinasabi mo? Yes, and mm -hmm. if ever, uh, if ever you, you will be, you, you have succeeded, or if not, the, there, there will always be a response. Yun yung maganda. Unlike sa Philippines, like you're waiting, you're waiting for yes, something yes. that is uncertain. So here in Australia, basta okay ka, uh -oh. magre-reply siya. Correct. Sa'yo. It's it's very rude, no? Kasi um well, there's a mechanism here that even if you don't get it, they would reject you, yeah. and then you know. So yeah. that means you know how to move on. Yeah. yeah. Eh, sa Philippines, bahala ka na eh. yes. You know, they will only contact, get in touch with you if you know they wanna interview you. Yes. And sometimes even. In the Philippines, you've been interviewed and they, they don't even call you yes. after. So you, you're just left there, yeah, wondering. Actually. Yeah, Okay, so um, I guess I'd like to relate these job opportunities with what your speciality is. Okay. So, ano bang klaseng nurse ka sa Philippines? And that kind of nurse um, what do you, speciality, meron ba dito? Yep. So back in the Philippines, I work as a cardiac cath lab nurse. So I'm a nurse who... Uh, assist doctors in diagnosing and treating um, cardiac problems. The heart, yeah. Yeah, the heart. So here in Australia, it's a high demanding skill. Like, like if you go to the internet, uh, you will really have, uh, parang may automatic spot kana for for this for this certain nursing practice. And hindi lang cath lab, actually madame like emergency nursing, oncology operating theater, lahat, meron age care, marami, maraming na-offer ang Australia. So, that's one thing na parang sa, unlike sa atin sa Philippines na, na, na confined ka lang, here, you have a lot of opportunities. So long as you've done your, so long as you've done your job also as a nurse na, okay yung registration mo, okay rin yung qualifications mo, you really, hindi ka mawawala ng trabaho here. So parang sinasabi mo dito, AJ, that um, it's better when you come here, may work experience ka na at may expertise ka. Yes, yes, definitely. Kasi yan ang, yan ang, yan ang bentahe mo. Like, it's so hard to go, to go to a new battleground without any bullet. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> and you have a very good, you know, experience. <laughs> yeah. Lab, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, yun ang mga work opportunities here in Australia for registered nurses. Now, paano mag-apply? You said, yun, okay. oh, nag-online ka. If you just walk us through the process and your experience in applying yep. here. Okay. So, first of all, nag-undergo ako ng bridging program. So, it, it was just three months. And then, I already I received my completion certificate for just a week. So, after that, i-present mo na sa APRA. Make sure that na APRA mo is all your documents are very nice. Para five days lang, you will have your registration. Mm -hmm. So, if you, have, um, if you would have like some troubles, make sure okay siya so that you can have your registration instantly. And then, kapag nakuha mo ng registration, you can now apply. Anywhere, anytime, at your own convenience. Online lahat ng application. So it's really nice. And kapag pumunta ka sa isang website, they also link you to different private and public hospitals. So sabi nga ni ma'am, isa lang in-applyan mo, you're hitting 10. So it's really quite a lot. I, I only applied here sa Victoria itself, and I had like 
30 applications and I was able to do it in one day. I didn't try for any other Other states. states. So how much more pag trinay mo yung ibang state? So Okay, so that's a 30 applications mo. Ilan lang sumagot? How many people who have responded to you? How many interviews have you had? Okay, so I have had 30 applications and yung iba kasi hindi pa nag end yung application closing deadline, deadline yes, nila. Yeah. So as of now, meron na akong um, like I had around 15 confirmations. 15? Oh, okay. Con- 15 confirmations. Like I had also, hindi mawawala na may mga rejections. rejections. Yes, Kasi definitely. hindi ka pasok sa qualifications. So, ito nga, like, in-encourage ni Ma'am Joanna, it would be better if you would pursue your permanent residency. Mm-hmm. Pero as for me, like, I'm still doing my own thing rin, you can do it. Um, like, I, I've already had um, six interviews. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so far, so good. Ina- inaantay ko lang kung ano yung yung mga feedback nila pero so far hindi naman sa pagtatayo ng sariling bangko but uh-huh. when I go to the interview like feeling mo meron namang high chances okay. so interviews um, anong tips mo sa mga okay so you'll feel naman eh it's a different mm-hmm. way of interviewing sa Philippines yep. iba yung interviewing dito sa Australia yep. so anong tip mo sa mga nurses na i-interviewin pa lang okay so first of all sa interview Sa resume, sa resume. So, it's always good to have a good cover letter. Your cover letter will make you, will make, will uh, make sure that your resume will be read. Okay. So, first impression is your cover letter. Yes. A good cover letter will result to a, a good uh, resume. Then, sa resume, make sure that you're selling yourself there. Okay. So, kahit magmukha siyang mayabang, uh-uh. go lang. Okay. And when the interview process comes in, that's the time you you mellow down. Like, okay. you show that you're humble. Yeah. You show that you have a personality that you're easy to work with. Mm-hmm. Like, the tone of your voice, it should be pleasant, it should mm-hmm. be, it should be, uh, it should exude a positive atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Also, they want, hindi katulad sa Philippines, like, nahihiya ako, hindi ko to pwedeng sabihin. Here in Australia, you have to be proactive. If you're proactive, they really commend you like if you're but you should say it in a professional way wag ka lang magdemand ng sobra oh. sobra okay all right <laughs> well i think you've touched on the culture again yep. you know because philippines it's like we don't talk about our achievements much because yeah. we're always like we're, we're silent operators you yeah, know? yeah we don't want that kasi parang ang yabang mo naman yes, yes but but how do you get picked from the yes. <laughs> from a thousand resumes yeah, right yeah. and in here it's all right to talk to talk about your achievements because yep. they have to know that yes yes kung hindi mo sasabihin at mahihiya ka eh wala kang mapupuntahan yes actually kung sa philippines is like you're worried competing with others here in Australia, no, you're competing with yourself here. Yun yung ano. Anong, anong ibig sabihin? Because, you know, in the Philippines, like, a capit system tayo, meron tayong mga, meron tayong mga, uh, meron tayong like, oh my God, among all the bunch ba? Ako ba yung pinaka, pinaka okay? Ako ba yung, yes. yung least favorite? <laughs> Pero here, wala, it's a blind. So it all boils down to your resume with your qualifications, with your experience. So, yun, dun, dun ka talaga, you're really competing with yourself. And how you created your resume, dun, dun ka na lang. Tama yan, AJ, no? Kasi sa Philippines, um, ang mga resume natin may picture. Yes. May age. Pagpangit ka. <laughs> yes. So I'm like, you're not, you know, you don't, you don't look good. They just throw your, your CV in yep. the bin. Dito hindi, it's all about your skill sets eh. Actually, ano yes. mang nation mo? Yes. Ano mang itsura mo? Ano mang age mo? It's all about, you know, will you be able to help the hospital or their organization? So skill sets talaga ang laban dito. Kaya you really have to be assertive. Yes. Kailangan sabihin mo kung anong experience mo. <laughs> yep. Actually, the contact details that I only have with my resume is my name, my con- my contact number, my email address, that's it. Hmm. Walang, hindi ko nilagay yung picture ko, hindi ko nilagay yung race ko, age, religion, and age. And your, your height? Yeah, no. In the no. Philippines, you, In have, the to Philippines, you have to put this It's details. like you're trying to become a model or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is funny. I have a funny story, no? Nasa San Francisco yata ako. I saw this guy, and uh, of course, he's not as attractive mm. as, you know, like the usual Filipinos. And he was like... Um, I have a job here, you know, <laughs> even if I look like this. <laughs> you know, kasi hindi naman 
about itsura eh. Yeah. Ayun ang kagandahan rin dito. Hindi, parang I think superficial sometimes yep. ang Filipino culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Actually, my resume in the Philippines is eight pages. Here it's four. Because it's all about qualifications, your skills. Okay. Tama rin yan. Kasi huwag masyadong matmala. Marami yeah. pages. Kasi they'll, be get, they'll, they'll get so bored. It's like, ano ba to? Yes, yes. Basta yung key points. And also, I guess to add to it, yung sinasabi mong cover letter, you really have to look at the requirements. Ano yep. ba yung hinahanap nila? Mm. And you have to answer each one. Yes. When you answer each one, you cannot use the same CV for all the applications. Patients. Yeah, true, true. Babaguhin mo no. ang CV mo each yeah, time. Yeah. And also, itong pinaka one important thing during your interview, if you're interviewed, you have high chances that you will be employed to that institution. So, ano tips pa sa interview? You have to research about what you're applying for, the institution right. you're applying for. You have to be familiar with their mission, vision. Yeah. yeah. So, before ka talaga pumunta sa interview mo, you have really to pack some information para pagdating mo sa panel, Tuloy-tuloy. It's a spontaneous event. Okay. I think, um, I just get back to, you touched on, sabi mo, dapat permanent resident. And, yeah. Siguro, just talk about quickly, ano mang difference? Nung mag, pag nag apply ka, syempre, you don't have a permanent residency visa. You're still on a student visa, visa right now. Yeah. Um, mahirap pa mag-apply kasi hindi ka PR. Ano yung experience mo? Actually, yan yung isa sa mga parang pinaplano ko na yung permanent residency. Because here, um, actually, um, yung drawbacks ko kaya hindi ako nakoconfirm with my interviews regarding my visa application. Kasi mahirap na, mahirap na, kung mara ako employer, yung isa, so sponsoran ko ng 457 visa o ng, spon- ng working visa, yung isa PR na. With this, with this, uh, em- employee, wala na akong problema. Wala. He can work for me full-time. Walang, hindi ko kailan magbayad sa immigration. Transparent. Work, work. Okay? Pero kapag working visa, ang hirap kasi kailangan ko pang gasto sa nikaw, kailangan ko pang kumawa ng mga paperwork mm-hmm. for you to have, uh, para ma-sponsoran kita. Also, mahirap kasi ikaw rin medyo talika. Uh-huh. Talika rin doon Talika sa company. company. Uh-huh. So, I guess it's safe to say na maraming trabaho sa Australia. Yes. <laughs> Konti lang ang nagsisponsor. You have to be very extra special <laughs> to become sponsored. Yes. Or if you're willing to work in the regional areas. Yeah. Yes. Yun lang naman Amen. kasi ayaw ng mga PR na pumunta doon. So, mm. doon ka masusponsoran. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I guess that's that covers it. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say to the you know would be migrants nurses? Uh, okay. For me, um, Australia is a really great place for you to to establish your competence as a nurse and also to settle down. Maganda talaga Australia. Um, it's a great place. Actually, nakaka in love siya. For me, meron ako separation anxiety dito sa here pa lang sa Melbourne. I've never been to other places, pero here na in love na ako sa place. So it's really it's it's nice and maganda siyang endpoint sa nurses na dito ka na. Alright, thanks so much, yeah, AJ. Thank you so much, Len. Thank you. Thank you.